Today, some huge news finally dropped in Shatterline. I had been laying dormant for so long, anxiously awaiting for new content or exciting updates to the game, and it seems that time has finally come in the form of two words. Ranked? PvP, and that feels so good to say. We'll talk about that in a second, but firstly, let's talk about the large expedition update, which will introduce hero progression as a part of the PvE experience, which will be available for all types of PvE play, not just expeditions. That means episodes, story missions, and expeditions, as far as we know. We're not exactly sure whether these upgrades are per run or account wide, but I do believe that it will be account wide, meaning these upgrades will stay with you throughout all PvE matches. Matches. And I'm super curious as to how this will play out and I'm really excited to see those changes. But nothing excites me quite as much as ranked PvP. We had no reason to believe ranked PvP was coming to Shatterline anytime soon, but boy, am I glad it's finally arriving. This means they'll be able to gather lots of feedback and data while we're in early access so that hopefully by the time we hit full release, ranked play has already hit the ground running and it will be running at full force, which we definitely want so that when we get the initial surge of new players, those players stick around if the system is well implemented into the game. So anyways. Ranked play will be 5v5, which is different from the usual 6v6, and I'll admit, I do agree with this change, but we'll see how that plays out. We'll only be getting escort game modes in 5 different leagues. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. You know, the usual. Each one of them consists of 4 levels, meaning we'll be having Bronze 1, Bronze 2, Bronze 3, Silver 1, Silver 2, Silver 3, etc, etc, you, you get the point. What I'm not fully on board with is the current point scheme. The current rank point scheme is 200 points for winning, minus 90 points for losing, and 50 points for ending a match with a draw. Now this is a testing ground for the rank matches and will be adjusted in the future. However, what these points essentially means is that you can have a 33% win rate, meaning you win one match every three matches you play and still be constantly ranking up, which to me, it makes no sense. Imagine the Diamond 1 player that sits at 35% win rate and is Diamond 1. I don't know, it makes no sense to me right now and will likely mean with this system pretty much everybody that plays consistently should be able to reach Diamond 1 or Diamond 4, I don't know which one will be the highest. But either way, this is a testing round and will definitely be adjusted in the future and I'm really happy to see that they'll also be given out 20% bonus match rewards which should interest more casual players to get involved in rank play and help us get the proper data. And if you are watching this video right now and are a casual player yourself, don't mind it too much. I know rank play can be scary at times, but just play some ranked and have some good old fun. And let's help Shatterline grow by giving them the feedback they need to succeed. And in other side news, Nexus has partnered with Shatterline officially including a support a creator tab in the store, which helps us content creators. And I'll be honest with you boys, I have no clue if you get a discount for using the code, nor do I know how much I get paid for it, nor do I know if my code actually even works. But yeah, if you end up buying something from the store, make sure to use the creator code RAPTAC because of, you know, reasons and such. So all in all, this huge update will be coming up next week and it's time to dust off my mouse pad, stop playing other random games I've been playing, and it's time to get back into Shatterline. Also, I'll link the official post in the comments section below for the updates that are coming next week. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in game. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Much love.